The Evans family seemed perfect to everyone. Helen and Mark were raising three children – Stephen, Mary and Peter. Everything had been going well until Mark lost his job as a result of the bankruptcy of the company. This caused the man to become depressed. Since that time, he had been sitting all days with a beer in his hands in front of the TV instead of looking for a new job. Every day he drank more and more and often shouted at his children and wife. Helen tried her best, but she worked part-time and couldn't support their large family. One day, unable to bear all that was happening at home, the woman decided to leave her husband. When Mark was sleeping, she packed her things, took the children and ran away from home. It was a difficult decision, as Helen was very attached to her husband. The fact was that she had grown up in an orphanage and did not know her parents. However, the woman simply had no other choice. Using her last money, she rented a small house on the outskirts of the city and settled there with her children. In order to support her family, she got a second job and started working as a cleaning lady in a recruitment agency. She was so busy that she had practically no time for her children. There was still not enough money, so Helen was forced to buy things for the children in second-hand stores. And one day in such a store, she met its owner, Sandra Black. Sandra was lonely as her son died a few years ago. When she had learned about Helen's difficult situation, the old woman tried to support her. She made a big discount and even allowed to pay for the goods later. So a year passed, but life had prepared for the woman even more difficult travails. One day, Helen learned of her husband's death. Then she was fired from her first job. And at last, the owner of the house they rented decided to double the rent. For Helen, it was a big blow. When she told Mrs. Black about her problems, the old lady suggested that the woman and the children should move to her house. She also offered the poor mother a job in her store. Helen happily agreed. The life of the family changed dramatically. Helen no longer had to think every day about how to feed her children and who they would stay with when she was at work. And the children in turn loved Sandra and began to call her grandmother. After a while, Helen met a good man. His name was Andy and he was a widower. When they started dating, Mrs. Black also invited him to live in her house. When Andy moved in, he immediately started renovating the old house. And then one day, when he was working in the basement, he moved a huge closet and saw a door behind it. Having opened it, he found himself in a small room. There was an old rusty chest on the floor. When he opened it, he froze in surprise. The chest was full of gold jewelry. When he told Mrs. Black about what he had found, she suggested that it most likely belonged to the former owners of the house. The old woman knew what to do with the treasure. She invested a large part of money in her store, which turned Helen into a real business lady and bought Andy the car that he had long dreamed of. 